hi guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope that this video is going to help you make a little bit extra money yes yeah, so please do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video share it with your friends and family because it's all about extra money without actually quitting your job so in this video we are going to be talking about six side hustles that you can get into in the year 2021 just to give you a little bit of extra cash so a side hustle is something that you do on the side outside of work outside of school just to help you get a little bit more money in the pocket during the weekends and who doesn't want extra money you know we all want that extra money okay so the first one is um you can become an online teacher and teach english um so i've been you know searching a lot you know looking at different vacancies and when i see the one that always pops up is teach english in china so you can become an online teacher not necessarily go all the way there but become an online teacher and teach you know chinese people how to speak english and the nice thing about that is you can charge about 200 rand to about 300 rand an hour just for teaching them so what you need to do for this one is um you need to actually get a, 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 an english certificate that shows them that you know how to teach english and yeah so get yourself an online english course that you can attend and just get that english certificate and teach people english there's so many people not only just chinese people but there's so many people out there who want to learn english so many people can't speak english and if you can take up this opportunity and you know how to speak english you know how to write english you've done this course then this is an extra side hustle for you this is also great for teachers and um, the other day i was speaking to a teacher and um, she was telling me about how she wants to make extra money and i was like you're already teaching you know you might as well just do teach online teach english online and make a little bit of extra money okay so the second thing is for you to become a pet sitter or a dog walker so um in my neighborhood specifically um people have a lot of dogs and a lot of pets and they love their dogs a lot so um but most of them are so busy they work late hours um so what you can do is um you can actually offer services where you walk their dogs um and walk their dogs and uh, or become a pet sitter where you'd come and you just feed their dogs if they're not home for maybe they went on holiday or they're not home they're working late but you can feed their dogs and then walk their dogs um after doing that and just taking care of their dogs just for a couple of hours and and for that you can charge about 80 rand an hour just for you know sitting and looking after the, the pets or just taking the dogs out for a walk so it's a good it's a nice 80 rand that you can actually pop into your bank account but please note you must love dogs for this one um we don't want you walking dogs and these dogs are busy chasing after people <laughs> so you need to love dogs love animals so if dogs are your things why not become a pet sitter and become a dog walker a pet sitter also does include other pets i know uh, people have parrots and um all these other pets so you can become a pet sitter for doing that all right so number three is for you to do baking you know um so i've got a friend who loves to bake she loves baking and she's always trying out different things and and you know what i just about people who like baking is that they bake right and then after baking they've got all these things that they need to freeze because nobody's there so they just give them all away so either they give them to security guards or they give them to people like me you know so if you love baking you can actually charge people and let them know that um hey i do baking if you want cupcakes um this is how much you can charge for cupcakes i know cupcakes make quite a lot of money like you can charge like 12 rand for one cupcake so imagine if you're making like you know 12 cupcakes for a birthday party or maybe you're making a cake um so if maybe for instance you're making like a standard cake you can charge about 300 rand for like a standard birthday cake and you can even tell them that if you want it all decorated maybe if you know if it's all decorated and fuzzy fuzzy you can charge about 500 rand for one cake so if you love baking why not take this opportunity to bake and sell and make more money from it and and with baking i was actually speaking to another a lady who was asking me about how um she's a student and she wants a side hustle and i was like but you like baking so instead of necessarily maybe you won't get big orders where you'll necessarily bake like 20 liters or 10 liters or 5 liters but what you can actually do is in your neighborhood bake small packets of cookies scones you know pack them together into four sell them each for 10 rand to your neighbor so if your neighbor knows that 
okay you know Tenzalo is selling four cookies for 10 rand you know it's good breakfast for me in the morning and i can quickly hop there and sell them or you can even um sell fed cooks you know or the baby we call them the baby where i where i come from Maguena. um you can sell that on saturdays you know or on yeah you can sell it on saturday, saturday morning if people know that every saturday morning um Tenzalo is selling you know Maguena. One rand per maguena, you put them, people decide. Normally people buy like eight maguinas or ten. Some people, I remember when I was growing up on Saturdays, my dad always used to drive out and go so far just to get us maguena because that's what we wanted and he'd come back with like ten because it's one rand one. So yeah, so you can quite make a lot of money with just buying maguena. And what do you need to make maguena? You just need flour, yeast, uh, yeah, and what else do you use? oils and all these things that are already there in your cupboard so you can actually get into baking and make quite a lot of money just from baking right okay so where are we number four is for you to become a photographer um okay so a photographer uh you can do it on the side um i remember when i was getting married right we needed a photographer but not necessarily a professional photographer just somebody to come and take pictures so my brother got his friend <laughs> his friend to come and take pictures and he came there he had like a camera you know and his friend just took pictures of everyone and then he went and printed them out and put them in an album it wasn't even like a, a fancy album i think it was like an album that he got at these uh, general stores and then he printed the pictures for like one rent at, at, at you know these printing places and then he put them in like 20 i think it was about it was it 20 pictures that he had there and and then we paid him like a good 500 600 rand just by doing that he wasn't even there the whole day he was just there for like a couple of hours when i was going out it was like a lobola celebration so it wasn't like a big a big event we were going out and then he just took pictures of a few guests pictures of me pictures of when we were exchanging the gifts and then he was done so he was a student at that time so he pocketed a good 600 rand for like two hours so you can become a photographer at a kiddies party you can become a photographer at um a, a baby photo shoot so you can do that and and the nice thing about photography is for instance if let's say you are doing a professional photo shoot right so you would um go to the people and you can say i'm going to charge you 500 rand for 30 pictures um for an hour session and then that's what you can do so it's quite good money so invest in a good camera it's quite a nice one and then number number five one two three four five one two is for you to become a driver um drive okay so i know it's quite a, a, a industry if you have a car you can become a driver and you can actually become a different driver so i'm speaking outside of your taxify and your uber you can also do that but just outside of that so if you have a car and you are a student or you're just someone that you know and you know friends that don't have cars but on saturdays they want to go to the mall or during the week at night they quickly want to go to the mall and buy some groceries but you find that you know it's you are closer and it's convenient because they know you why not offer your services and say that i'm going to charge you um 50 rand to take you to the mall or 100 rand and i'll help you and i'll fit you again um, I'll take you there and then when you're done shopping and doing all these things, I'll come fit you again. It's actually better so you can make money with that because I know a lot of times during month end when people just got paid, um, uh, I know for instance my family members, don't. A lot, most of them don't have cars so what they do is they want, if they want to go out to shops or whatever, they normally call us and say can you please take me there um, but we don't necessarily charge them but you can actually charge people for doing that so yeah so you can become a driver um outside just something different outside from the formal platforms don't forget these are side hustles that i am talking about okay and then number six is for you to become a promoter a bartender or a waiter guys these work i remember when i was in varsity um i became a, a promoter it was like a okay so my one was a little bit different because what we did was we i think it was a certain bank where they, they wanted to know about students so that they can know how much money to charge their students. So they actually made me like promote the, the banking product, what they did. So with that, um, when coming to promotions, you just need to uh, 
I find, I remember there was a specific agencies that did student promotions. You can literally get about 200 rand an hour just by sitting there for three hours at a more, telling, giving people free samples, you know, so that is great for varsity because um, you still get time to study. You take a Saturday off. It's not the whole day that you can do and you're just promoting different products where you can get money. You can also become like a bartender. Um, yeah, you know, bartender, you know, bartending work, becoming a waiter where you wait and you earn tips on a part-time basis. So yeah, so those are the six side hustles that you can enter into in the year 2021. Um, I hope this video was insightful and I hope this video is going to help you make a little bit extra money on the side. Thank you for watching.